third, I get to say this I is happening or not happening. Um, and when all that happens, then it, it sort of it builds it up. So it's why it's why actually I think it's always silly when someone says, "Oh, you know, the big name person okay. shouldn't be right. okay. in Kickstarter right. or Veronica Mars. They Travis. shouldn't be. They sh they shouldn't they, they shouldn't be doing the Veronica Mars." Uh, thing because that's Warner Brothers. I'm like, hey, they just got 90,000 people, and I bet you 80,000 of them have never heard of Kickstarter before, and they're now in the ecosystem. And if they had a good experience, they'll sit around and maybe they'll back a small indie project at a, a later time. So I actually think it's better for um, like smaller indie stuff to have more and more people come into the ecosystem. I mean, there's there's definitely I've, I've seen I've seen small space sims that have gone back as from Star Citizen because. They came into like say Kickstarter and then they were like oh I like this and oh this is another space sim I'll back so there was one like Limit Theory that was a small one that I backed because I thought this kid was really talented and you know a bunch of Star Citizen people like saw that heard that and they also did some backing and probably that exposure wouldn't happen without Star Citizen Star Citizen being sort of in the ecosystem so I think it's generally a good thing. Well, I mean, and there's statistics to back up that also, you know, sp specifically. But beyond that, as you know, uh, Chris, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not promoting or backing other people's products almost daily, you know, and, and, and so I, I'm always out there putting other people out there and trying to and trying to kind of support their dream, and that that's the beauty of it, because you know, it, it, there was kind of an indie scene before, but not in such a tangible way where we are truly helping. I mean, you and me are truly been trying to help each other. I put other people's products in our Kickstarter updates. People that are, I put other role-playing games in my Kickstarter update that are that are that are right. My competitor, you know, theoretically right, but you know, I do. I don't look at it that way. I don't think about it. I just, you know, we're just all help promoting each other because it's not like that when Iron Man comes out and it's a huge success. People go, oh, I wish they'd stop making Iron Man movies. They're sucking all the all the movie uh, dollars out of the room. We there's we can't do independent films because Iron Man's killing it for us. You know, it doesn't work that way, and so, so, but we, you know, we try to take it one step further by doing promotion. You know, when I did that uh, kicking it forward uh, thing, where people agree to share five percent of their profits to help other people, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to five percent of our profits will go back towards other crowdfunded games. We have over three hundred projects that successfully signed up that are going to do that. Oh my gosh! For fuck's sake! And please, for those of you. He's crazy. How can we always be down constantly? Okay, uh, Morlin was asking if anybody has Weiss can see. You guys have yes. Weiss? Yeah? You might have given it. That's funny. You guys there? No, we lost him. These guys are funny. They just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are crazy. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Call me a slut. <laughs> Please tell me I'm pretty. They're funny. We will leave you alone if you message us. Yeah, hello. Uh, you there? Banu, there's a really early description that they are very tall and very skinny. They're not going to be as tall as the, the Bandul, so I just put them right at seven feet. There, there are some early descriptions in the fiction of them having some sort of wedge on top of their head and very thick um, eel-like skin, which I started, so I started with that and the thinness. Very, you know, non-human looking like you know anorexic with the le the uh, the leathery sort of eel skin but then I, I noticed later on that the fiction changed a little bit and those words were no longer in there but I think that's because um, the design process it, they wanted to see sort of what I was coming up with but I kept I kept most of those elements um, the idea being that the these